There is no keener revelation of a society's soul than how it treats its children. That's what Nelson Mandela said to us. I would add to this that the situation of children in a society or in a country or in a nation, whatever you call it, is like a dipstick. It's like a thermometer that tells us what ails it or what is good in it. 21st century has thrown up diverse challenges for children in the form of the market, the internet. And although these are global challenges, in a globalized world, our children are not untouched by them. COVID has added to these challenges. Many of the gains that we had made over the years uh, have now been reversed. In the face of di the digital divide, uh, the economic crisis that we have seen, children have dropped out of school. Many have been forced into labor. There has been increase in domestic violence, child abuse, child marriage. And all of these are areas in which we had started to make certain gains. We are lucky in this country that we have a demographic dividend. But, but what are we doing to nurture and cherish this, cherish it and build on it? Children and young people are part of an ecosystem. It is an ecosystem that we as adults provide to them. They are citizens of today. And I would like to emphasize this because we are, children are often referred to as the future. We always say, Wo kal ke hain, ya, children are our future. It is important to recognize their citizenship as, in, as Indians of today, and we must guarantee them the rights that the Constitution of India promises to them today and now. It is only when we build on their now will they be able to be the adults of tomorrow. Unfortunately, the ecosystem that we are providing to them is not the kind of nurturing one that they need to grow and develop. We must also remember that children are not homogeneous. They are divided by caste, religion, ethnicity, region, gender, all of which impacts them in different ways. And therefore, one brush stroke for all will not work. That is why what we see today are children who are confused, who are depressed, they have high levels of addiction, substance abuse. We find them behaving in manners that are discriminatory and by often violent. And that is because that is what they're seeing around them. What are the role models that we are providing for them? And therefore, I ask myself often, can this change? And I believe that it is possible because I would not be the activist that I am if I did not believe in change, if I was not an optimist. I am an eternal optimist and I believe that the hope lies in our young citizens of today. For the first time in the 12th Flyweer Plan, a separate section for children was added. And it was a real revelation for the country because for the first time children were recognized as people who needed to be given a place in the planning process. But including them in a chapter or making a scheme or policies is not enough. They have children's issues have to be, become part, part of the developmental indicators. They have to be part of development planning whether we are creating smart cities or we are doing mining policies or planning, planning developmental projects, even forest policies affect children. And this is an important example that I want to share that it is well known that the nutrition of children living in the forest fell when people's access to forests were denied. And yet forests are seen only to be an environmental issue and not a children's issue. So similarly, we can when roads are built, we need to see where the children can walk on them. When developmental projects are created, will children be participating in them? Will they get gain from them? These are questions that we need to ask ourselves. Therefore, all socio-economic assessments must include impact of children. But most important of all, we must be able to help our children and young people to grow up as citizens 
that the framers of our constitution would have wished. For them to be tolerant, non-discriminatory, responsible and accountable. The aspiration of our children and young people are changing. They have different dreams from us. We need to be able to listen to them and to provide them with platforms in which they can speak freely and without fear. Can we teach them to, be, to differ, to be able to dissent and not feel that it is bad or wrong to be able to be different? But that is only possible when we as adults value dissent. If they grow up in a world or a country where adults live in fear and dissent is punished, we will not have independent, thinking, fearless young people who will take forward the democracy we so treasure. Laws are important, but laws alone cannot create social change. Every time there is an incident of crime against children, there is a shrill cry from an emotional appeal from society asking for more and more penal provisions. And the easiest thing for the country or the state to do is to create yet another law. But the solution does not lie creating more laws because as I said, it doesn't, it, that is not where the social, that is not what leads to social change. Solution to all crimes against children can own, cannot be retribution. It has to be in the delivery of justice and restoring the sense of justice to the victim. And for that, we need a change of attitude, both towards the child victims, but also perhaps towards children who offend. Because as I said earlier, children are part of an ecosystem. So if they are offending, they're not born offenders, they're not born criminals, they are imbibing what we are teaching them or what we are showing them. They are in part of the ecosystem that I have referred to earlier. They often emulate the adults. So let us invest resources, time, and most importantly, our faith in children and young people so that they can help us to lead the change. Today's children are adults of tomorrow, and they will build and live in an India that we show them is possible. If we engage with them, nurture them, and help them to uphold constitutional values, we will have the India my parents fought for as freedom fighters and many like them dreamt for. <laughs>